Hey folks, welcome to the food shop. Listen, I want you to make the best restaurant quality guacamole for yourself, your friends, and your family. So you ready? Let's go. We're gonna start by making a base. First, we wanna dice a large red onion. I'm only gonna use half the onion. Remove the outer layer, keep the root together. And like I said, I like a small dice so I keep my, my cuts nice and fine. But again, you do you, you might like a large dice, you might like a small dice. Uh, be careful if you're slicing this way. But again, I like a small dice, so we're gonna use a half a red onion here. Put your diced onion into a separate bowl. Now next, we wanna dice up a jalapeno. Cut the tip off, split it down the middle. Cut it in quarters. And I like to use a little teaspoon to get out the seeds and the, the white flesh. Now, if you get a couple of little seeds in your guac, that's perfectly fine. Now, once you have all the seeds and the white flesh removed, now you can start to dice the jalapeno. I like the thin dice, so I'll just rip these down the center to make it easier to dice. Once I'm done with that, I'll just dice them up and get them ready to go. Now, if you find that your dices are a little too large for you, just rock your knife over them, cut them up, make them smaller. It's a simple recipe. It's what works for you, what you like. Now, to add to this base, we're just gonna use one clove of garlic. We're gonna mince it up nice and small. Once you're finished with your garlic, I like to combine the onion, the jalapeno, and the garlic together. Put that into a bowl. For now, we'll set that aside. On to the star of the show avocados. We're using three organic Hess avocados today. Just be careful when you're cutting them. Put your knife into the pit, spin the avocado around the knife, remove the knife, and then twist the avocado in half to expose the pit. Use your knife, give it a quick tap, pop it out, Next, you wanna remove the flesh from the skin and combine that into your bowl with your jalapeno, your garlic, and your onion. Now we wanna add the juice of one lime to our guacamole mix. And if you see the way I'm using this citrus press, this is a game changer. Watch, I'll show you. I put the lime in facing downward and you don't miss a drop. It really is a game changer, guys. You gotta try it. And yes, lime juice is considered a source of citric acid and it helps prevent guacamole from browning. Now, once you're finished with your lime juice, it's time to mash up your guacamole. The key here, folks, is you want bits of guacamole with creamy parts of guacamole. So be very careful on how much you mash it up. You know, don't, don't go crazy. You'll make soup out of it. So take this process a little on the slow side. Don't rush it. Once you got your great consistency, it's time to add a good quality salt. Two nice pinches to start with. Then give that a good mix. A nice soft mix. You're just trying to combine the salt all into it. We're not trying to mash the bits of guacamole that we left in there. And now it's time to add our last ingredient. Let's chop up some fresh cilantro and incorporate that into the guacamole as well. And you wanna keep a little bit on the side for a garnish. Nice little presentation for your friends and family. A 
There you have it, restaurant quality guacamole, ready in 10 minutes. I hope you found some value in today's video. And if so, please consider giving a like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.